Welcome back. We're going to take a look at some additional elements of the church admin life. Uh, today we're going to talk about how to set up a slideshow in your lobby TVs. And I've seen this done many different ways. Uh, and just here recently, I see uh, churches use, uh, you know, Mac minis to laptops to different devices that are just strung on the back of the TVs. Um, you know, just you can see it hanging from the back. I want to show you a way to do this that will cost you under ten dollars. Really, just the the amount it it will take to buy a USB drive, uh, preferably a gig or two gigs and up, and utilizing the platform Canva in just the time it takes. So, really cheap option for you uh, to set up a scrolling slideshow video to highlight upcoming events or church elements that you want to show in front of your congregation as they walk in and out of your church building. So let's give it a go. Those of you that may not know, we are utilizing the platform Canva, which is a fantastic uh, platform for teams uh, for individuals that are looking to do creative work uh, for churches and for any nonprofit, uh, they have a wonderful nonprofit uh, program, reduced fees on this uh, annual charge, and it is a no doubt um, benefit for any church uh, to utilize, especially if you're not familiar with other creative platforms such as Adobe. So Canva is a great way to get introduced to that and a great way to get going and a great tool to use for oneself as an office administrator and for your entire team. What we are going to do uh, to set up our slideshow is go to create a design and we are going to create a presentation. And this presentation is going to be uh, one of two designs we're going to create to make this work. Uh, so this first one is actually how we create the slideshow. And for to save some time, I'm going to use some slides that we've already made uh, for the church um, so you can see what, how this works. So I'm just going to copy and paste these into our new platform, new slideshow uh, presentation, uh, again, just to save some time. Okay, for this particular project, we have three slides we want to rotate through on our slideshow. And so I've uploaded those. Uh, we have created these slides previously in Canva, and they are our welcome slide our highlight for the pastor's Bible study during our midweek gathering and the annual meeting that we uh, are set to have. And at this point, uh, we're just using these three slides to see how this works. I'm going to hit the ellipses here as I hover over the slide, add a transition, and I prefer the match and move. It's a really smooth transition. Um, uh, otherwise, you have some more movement here with these and less distracting uh, more traditional transition here, match and move. I'm going to do that with the this other one. Add a transition, match and move. Okay, so we have our three slides. This is not a very long slideshow, so uh, this would end pretty quickly if this was all the slides we would have. And so the trick I do is once I get my set of slides I would like, um, fine-tune it uh, all the ways that we need to, I'm going to click on the first one, Hold the shift icon or uh, shift key on the keyboard, click on the second one, continue to hold the shift key, clicked on the third one. Now I have all three of my slides highlighted. I'm going to hit Command C on the Mac or Control C on a Windows PC and then hit Command V or Control V to paste. And again, paste, and you'll see my page count grow at the bottom. And I'm going to go to 45 slides. So what this will do is we've just created one slideshow, and it's going to transition through uh, each of these slides. It should take about four to five minutes with 45 slides uh, with that set of time on each one. Um, you notice, though, that the third slide does not have a transition, so I'm going to go back and make sure all slides have a transition. quick way to do that instead of finding all of these is I'm going to hit Apply Between All Pages. And now all of them have it. Okay, so now I have my slideshow. Only four to five minutes. Um, I want it much longer than that. Remember I said we're going to create two presentations? We created the first one. It's the one that we can edit any of the slides. 
this is one that you save as the you know the editable presentation slideshow so over time if you want to add new slides or you know edit existing slides this is the one that we're looking at this is the one that you do that in and so I'm going to title this presentation in the upcoming week so that's our title so again consider this is the one that you can edit you want to you know adjust certain slides so I'm going to hit share go to download change it to a video that is just fine 1080 this might take a second and if the download page or the download um, pop-up window disappears it took me forever to figure this out on the bottom right hand corner of the canvas screen you'll see that something is downloading to your computer or device I'm going to click on that it'll pop that back open so you can see the status of that download okay so our video has downloaded I'm using Google Chrome it shows me my downloads here at the bottom so I'm going to use this as a quick way to show you what's next um, I'm going to go back to Canva delete those for now and create a new design again uh, I'm not going to create a presentation even though I'm going to keep that 16 by 9 format I'm going to create a video so the whole concept here is we're going to stretch this four to five minute slideshow into a 30 minute slideshow presentation that's just going to repeat itself. And so I'm going to take my download here um, and I'm going to drag it back into Canva. And this might take a few minutes as well. Okay, we have our five minute and 34 second video. Uh, the nice thing is it's all ready to go. I'm just going to take it. So this is an uploads. Uh, normally it goes into um, video. A video will be an option here. I'm just going to drag it down into my blank presentation. And now that 5 minute 34 second video is now on my in my presentation. Uh, I'm going to click on it. I'm going to hit the Command C or Control C button. And I'm going to then hit the Paste button, Command V or Control V. And I'm going to do it until I have about a 30 minute or 35 minute video. That's perfect, 33 minutes. I'm just going to slightly scroll over um, to the left and find my ellipses. And I'm going to do that same thing here with the transitions. Add a transition, match and move, apply between all pages. Now this one, uh, the first one was called our presentation video um, you know, for the Sunday upcoming. Uh, this one's going to be called video loop for the particular date. There we go. And now it's all done. 33 minute video. I'm going to hit share and I'm going to download it as an MP4. 1080 is just fine. And there we go. And now we just wait for this. Okay, so our video has now downloaded. And now I'm going to take this video and put it onto my thumb drive. And from here, um, it's really easy on what to do next. Well, now I'm at church ready to upload the video file to our TV. I want to show you how simple this is. So I put it on the USB stick, and that's the hardest part. Now I have to plug this into the back of the TV, turn the TV on, and find it as an input option. So let's get a look. So I'm just going to plug this into the back of the TV. Now I'm going to turn the TV on. So I'm going to find the input, I'm going to hit the menu, go to the input or source, and I'm going to find my USB drive, click on it. You notice that my video shows up. If we had any other content, it would also show up on this TV. But that's also why it's important to just have the singular file um, that you want. So I'm going to hit on this, and my video starts to play. I'm going to just kind of press down on the remote. And I'm gonna make sure there's one little thing that's highlighted here. The TV has, we've already adjusted to the setting. Um, this little A icon with a, a circle around it, that means it's repeating. This is repeating once and then it'll stop. And this is not repeat, so it'll just play one time and stop. So we want it on auto repeat 
and this will do an infinite loop. And so now we have our TV playing our video uh, for an infinite loop, an infinite amount of time as long as the TV is on. And you can leave this thumb drive in your TV and play this as long as you're comfortable, as long as whatever length of time you're comfortable with, um, and it'll keep on going. Hey, that was it. I hope you enjoyed how we set this lobby TV up with the rolling slideshow. Again, the cheapest method by far that we have found. Uh, we find that very easy to update over time. We've been doing this for almost a year now, and it really has stuck out to us how simple this process is that our volunteers are able to jump in as well to assist us if necessary. So I hope, again, you like this video. Subscribe if you do. And we are looking forward to more of these videos as we talk about the church admin life. If you have any details or if any comments, make sure to put them below. And we will see you next time. Take care. Brought to you by jmulkmedia.com. Saving you time, telling your story. Personal video editing at your convenience, jmulkmedia.com.